In this problem, we're being asked to find the equation of the line that passes through this point and is perpendicular to this line. In part A, we want to write it in point-slope form, and in part B, we want to write it in slope-intercept form. Okay, let's go ahead and work through it. So to find the equation of a line uh, in point-slope form, we need uh, two things. We need a point, which we already have. So I'll write it again, 7, negative 5. And we need a slope. We're told that our line is perpendicular to this line. So this line here is already written in the y equals mx plus b form, which is called slope intercept form. So you see here that the slope of this line is 1 fourth. Our line is perpendicular. So whenever you have a perpendicular line, to find the slope, what you do is you flip it and put a negative. So it's the negative reciprocal. So that's going to be our slope. Because it's perpendicular, you just take the slope here and you flip it and put a negative. So there's our slope, m equals negative 4. All right, so now let's go ahead and write down the formula. So y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This is called the point-slope form of a line. And it's because you have a point and the slope. So this is our x1 and this is our y1. So we have y minus negative 5 equals m, which is negative 4, and then x minus, and then that's 7, right? 7. Let's just check that. So y minus negative 5, that's our y1. m is negative 4, x minus 7. That looks good. Let me just clean this up here. Negative and negative is positive. So this is y plus 5 equals negative 4 parentheses x minus 7. If you're wondering why I didn't distribute the negative 4, <laughs> it's because this is one of the answers. Uh, it wanted the point-slope form, so it wants it written in this way. It's very important. Really easy to mess that up. I honestly feel like that's the trickiest part of the problem. So just leave it like this for the point-slope form. For the slope-intercept form, you keep going. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down again. Slope-intercept form basically means you solve for y. So now we can distribute the negative 4. So this will be negative 4x. And then negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28. Then just subtract 5 from both sides. Good stuff. So we have y equals negative 4x. Uh, 28 minus 5 is 23, and that would be the slope-intercept form. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.